Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daily Carrington, and if you're new, welcome and if you're returning, love for the love, my G's. And welcome, this is a tutorial. So I've been getting into my makeup girly era, as I've mentioned in my last like 10 million videos. And so I thought I would do a tutorial for the girls who are starting to get up in the makeup era. Sorry if you hear a train go by, I live by a train station. I can't help it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I thought I'd do a little tutorial. I do need to do my edges as well because I am going out in a minute to go meet my man, my man, my man, my man. So I need to do my my little edges and make sure they're cute do my face and make sure she's cute so i thought i'll do a tutorial and this tutorial is very 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 beginner friendly because if you're a girl like me who is just learning how to do her makeup properly and wants to learn this is perfect and if you already know how to do your makeup and you're watching me do my makeup today and you're like mm -mm, baby that's wrong tell me and i won't be defensive i won't be mean I will take the criticism or whatever the word is on the chin and I will improve my skills. So let's begin. Once these contacts are in, we're gonna eat this face up. We are. And I'm gonna do more videos. My plan is to like do like you know um shop with me, like picking buying new makeup products, buying more updated products, trying cheaper and trying more high-end products. I'm gonna do it all because I'm really stepping into my makeup girly bag. Like, I don't think you guys get it. Like, I don't think you get it. Also, do you guys like my top? Let's address the elephant in the room. So I'm gonna get myself out my trusty travel bag I got from Primark like three years ago when I went to Portugal with my girls and get my beauty blender out. And the first thing we're gonna do is dampen our beauty blender. I don't know why the hell we do this. But I see the makeup girlies do it, so we're gonna do what the makeup girlies do because that's what they do when they do. Yeah. So I've got my concealer from Too Faced, born this way, and it is in the color Maple. And I don't know when I first got this, but I've been rocking with the Too Faced Born This Way for a minute now, and I like it a lot. I feel like it does the job. And considering I actually still technically do have a tan. I don't know, to me, when I look in the mirror, I don't see my tan anymore, but when I look at my body, I can still see my tan line, like, all my legs, and, like, there was one on my wrist. You, got, you Look, can you still see the tan line? So, it's still working with my face. I don't know how, but it still is. We are first going to draw, like, a line underneath our eyes, like this. Um, honestly, everything you see me do in this tutorial today, I've probably watched my sister do it, my friends all just saw it briefly on TikTok. It's not actually a legit way. I'm just doing what I like to do, okay? I don't have actual a natural system. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Then I like to bring it down a bit like this. And so it's like that. And then we repeat the same on the other side. Also, do you guys remember when I burnt my face in February with the, um, what was that thing called again? The crimper, that is the burn mark there, that light patch, that ever so light patch right there on my face is the burn mark. And it used to be a big black mark and it was a really pink sore mark. And now it's literally like a light patch on my face, but it's ever so light on my face. And I also get a line on my nose. And I'm not even gonna lie, blending is actually one of the most unflattering things because every video I've made as of late, I'm blending my makeup and I'm making these really peculiar faces. But I mean, we've got to do what we've got to do because we can't be having these harsh lines in our videos and our pictures, can we? And so I know the concealer's under my eye, but I do have to bring it down a little bit on the top of my cheekbones. So this is what we don't want. I know you can see that right there between my um, nose and there, you can see that really harsh line where the concealer stops and you can see it there. We don't want this, so we need to really blend this all out. And I never used to get the concept of blending, but it's literally just patting it into your skin. Like imagine you're putting a cream on, you just need to literally get all the harsh lines out because they will be seen in your 
pictures and stuff and that will not be cute and i use the other side on the back of the beauty blender to really pat it out so that it's not so harsh on my face okay so that is my concealer all blended out and so truth be told i used to do my concealer and just leave like this like i would not do anything else to my face i would do my concealer and then lip liner and that was did i even do lip liner back then i didn't even do lip liner back then i think i just did concealer and just did lip gloss on my lip liner scary girl the next two things i'm going to use i'm going to use this uh powder brush from Boots, Boots is the section of their makeup. Why a brush is so expensive, and this is one of the reasons why I was never makeup girly because I don't believe spending this much money on makeup. But I wanna do it now because I wanna be a part of the gang, I wanna be a part of the group. I got gifted this makeup uh, powder in the set goodie. Ooh, I never realized that, me like that, from Ken Beauty, and it's a soft set setting powder. I'm gonna use these two products together, well, product and a tool, I'm gonna make amazing stuff with my face. Um, I never used to use this, like I was saying, and I realized that this was one product I was crucially missing from my routine because before everything was very much giving scary, not scary, but I don't know, like it wasn't hitting the same. And it was on the day of my graduation where I said, well, I've got to step my, my sing thing up because I can't have my graduation pictures looking all scary and I show my kids that in like 20 years. Like, look at your mum. Your mum looks crazy in her graduation. And I mean that. And I mean that. No, sir. And I mean that. Anyways, powder. Pat it right under your eye and try to get as close as possible. And pat all the way around and get it on your nose but don't get too much that's one mistake i have made when i've started to use it because when i first i tried to use it i look like a ghost but now i know how to fix it so it's all good it does look a bit crazy because you know i am getting used to this i am very new to this so don't be mean so as of late i've been letting that sit on my face for about five to ten minutes and honestly i don't know what it's doing to my makeup but it's just giving it a look that I just never had before. And it was giving a look that I was missing from when I was first doing my makeup. And yes, I know it does look a bit crazy. It's giving, it's giving this. Me and her sisters, I oh, want a difference. Watch, watch she and watch me. Her and I and the CM. So I'm gonna brush my eyelashes because I haven't honestly brushed them in like four days. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be so, so honest with you. I've been washing them, yes, but like every time I wash them to go to work and stuff, I don't have time to dry them. So I just wash them and go. No drying, just washing and just vibes. I've got this lip liner from Vital in the color brown. I feel like personally it was a little bit too dark or I just didn't like it for my lip liner. So it's now going to be now just for my eyebrows because it wasn't really giving that much when it was on my lips. So it's now a strictly an eyebrow brush. So just begin by brushing out your brows. Um, very, very cute. I'm going to take this powder off. Please don't get distracted by the craziness on my face. And then I like to do gentle strokes because I really have like thin eyebrows. I don't like to like overcrowd them too much and like do too much to them because I feel like I don't want like to look crazy do you know what i mean an eyebrow brush or eyebrow product is something i definitely want to get like one of the better products for because i feel like my eyebrows could be way better than this but i'm just using at the moment what i have but when i do that makeup shop i'm gonna get all the products like i'm gonna have so much products that all my enemies are gonna be mad at me. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna quickly brush this off my face. Get your um, powder brush and just brush off all the excess powder from when you first put your powder on. Just because you're trying to wipe the powder off. You're not trying to put more on. So make sure you actually brush it off. I'm gonna quickly leave it like this and finish my other eyebrow because I'm working in a very odd stage. 
this is actually how I work when I'm like doing everything by myself. I work in a very random sequence. So we're gonna continue making small strokes. Do you get this holy grail of a product? This right here. This right here, shout out to Elizabeth 10 times and 10 times over. She put me on this babe of Mocha Mami and I use this girl like she, like my life depends on it. Like I just, ah, uh, words cannot describe. So I'm gonna get my brush. I think this is actually from Real Techniques, I don't know, but it's called a buffing brush. And it's this shape and it's actually the most perfect shape ever because it does a wonder of job when it's on my face. I didn't say that really weird, but yeah. So I like to pat it around in circles like this. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but I just feel like it's fun. And then I begin to put it on my cheek like this. And so the same motion that I was doing on the pot is the same motion that I do on my face, if that makes sense. And I pat that on. And then this is what brings back a bit of colour to my face. So like obviously the powder kind of does drown you out a bit. But this, <laughs> do you see that? Are you dumb? Are you actually dumb? This brings back the, the most beautiful brown, bronzy, peachy colour to your face. Like Rihanna really said this is for the girls. Like tell me this is not giving. It's giving makeup girly. Ah. Can I get a hell yeah? So I have this Destiny Anthony lip liner. I've got the e.l.f. lip gloss right here in the colour Sparkling Rosé. And I'm going to put that one just on my top lip because my top lip is smaller than my bottom lip. And she needs a bit more plump. All the way to the corner. Like that. <laughs> Look oh, crazy. And then I get these two colours from Lips London Boutique. I get the colour Los Angeles and Atlanta. And I'm going to put half here and half there. But that is all for my makeup tutorial. I'm going to do my edges and then we're going to be all done here. I really, really, really enjoyed filming this because I have not filmed a makeup tutorial in like two years. And I'm really trying to do everything that I wanted to do before and do it more consistently. Because you know Rose is NK. Now that I'm out of uni and I am really trying to do my best at everything. For my edges, I'm just going to comb out my side bits because... Um, I have to do those, and these are the worst bits to do because I honestly I can't even do them. Okay guys, I had to finish my edges off camera. My camera is dying, it's flashing at me. So I was gonna say, if you love this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoy that I do my makeup. I hope this tutorial helps someone. I'm gonna keep doing because together we're gonna learn how to beat our full entire face. Like, we're gonna do a full beat. We're gonna be this UK black girl makeup girlies, us, me and you. So like I said, if you liked it, see you, comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. And this is my finished look.